be why are derivatives important, maybe a little bit about how they played a role in your background in traditional markets and how you see that playing out now with a lot of the growth, not only just in the in the utilization of derivatives, but the product class as a whole in digital assets. For sure. Um, so derivatives are uh, the primary risk management tool for many asset classes. I think equities are the are often the ones that are most intuitive because retail investors get to use equity derivatives, I think, fairly regularly, right? If you own a stock, you sell a call option against the stock, you receive the premium of that call option, and you get extra yield. So you're allowed to do this in a retirement account. Uh, this is something for which uh, fewer permissions are necessary in a brokerage account. So people get this sense of optionality uh, in a yield context. If you work at a bank or an insurance company, part of your risk management and uh, statutory capital preservation recipe is to make sure that if equity markets go down 20% instantaneously, your firm is still standing. So you're using index derivatives, S&P 500 options daily to make sure that your uh, risk profile in those conditions um, uh, you know, are sound. In the crypto space, and the, de the derivatives use that I saw from outside are one of the things that drew me into the business because a lot of that talent and experience had moved over, had ported over into crypto native uh, funding, Delta One and options uh, books, both over the counter and exchange wise. Um, so a lot of the crypto derivatives are used more in a speculative sense right now than a risk management sense. But the standards and the promise of how big and broad the market's getting, and now how a lot of that is translating into onshore markets on CME and soon with ETF options is very promising for similar use cases. So it helps complete the market, financing, risk management, um, and things like structured products. Great. So risk management, which, which I think is a really important topic in an asset class, meaning digital assets more broadly, where risk and how to manage that, that risk, most people think of it as volatility, although that's just one dimension of it, um, can be managed, right? So it is possible to invest in this asset class and still manage the risk. Derivatives is a big part of that. So maybe, Chris, I'll, I'll pass it on to you. Um, if you could share some similar perspective, that would be great. Yeah, I think in digital assets, maybe a little unlike fixed income derivatives and equity derivatives, you can accomplish two expressions of two different theses with the structures. They can be risk managed, but they can also be a source of alpha. And un unlike equities, the, the skew is to the call side, to Andy's point. And so uh, the other side from OGs like all of us sitting here, I don't want to ever sell my Bitcoin, right? So how am I going to control the vol for the RLPs when there's only 21 million of this and trying to profit take and create a zillion tax instances uh, which our algos do is one thing, but on our net long position, I, I don't want to get rid of that. So how do I delta, gamma, vega hedge? And it's, a, it's you know, a new newer market to which Coindesk 20 has been probably one of the most successful index perps, I think, ever. And then our work with Cumberland, we do some pretty dynamic structures, taking advantage of premiums across different vintages. There's a kink in the November uh, contracts right now. So you can do a combo of risk management and alpha across pretty much going out two, three years. Yeah, and, and so a couple of things that I'd, I'd maybe uh, reframe a little bit. Sounds like we're talking about two additional uh, aspects of derivatives that are really powerful in the market today. One's monetization. So I'm a hodler, I got a bunch of Bitcoin, what do I do with that? You can risk management or you can monetize it without having to sell it. That's really important. It's a very common theme in how people use derivatives in traditional markets or non-digital non markets, that's really important. 